And we're back, yeah. Alright, and also just a note to the uh, Wild Science Shoe fan that's been constantly emailing me. Everything is on the Wikipedia, including a biology page. Biology. You have, and you have to look on the, uh, you have to expand the gallery and click on the pages to actually get a closer look at what they read. Okay? And do not believe that page. There is, Rich, nobody else is mayor. I am, okay. Currently in the book, Allison Amber is the mayor. Allison Amber, my secretary. When she, she got the job of being vice mayor when she was hired to be my secretary. So therefore, that's the way it's been. Until I get, until I get back at book number 10, and then actually make the, twi make the plot turn there on, who will be the mayor after book beyond book number ten? There you go. It's Allison Amber, and nobody else. Not even, not even Billy Mays and person there, Richard Carn. I've often confused the two because they both look alike in the face. Anyway, aside from that, here we'll start book number three. And uh, once again, all Sanchi material is copyright March 17, 2000 by me, Christian Weston Chandler. Any names or persons illustrated any, in any of the Sanchi comics except that myself that may seem similar to anyone in real life or fiction are purely coincidental or otherwise parodic. Anyway, here is the cover for book number three. Yes, we are introducing a chaotic combo here. Wild Bubbles, Anjaka, Punchy, and Magic Chan. Episode 10. Science, you babies. Mm, once upon a time, a powered up hedgehog collided with a Pikachu, and a rainbow of chaos emerald energy from the rainbow it was, that stretched for, stretched for miles across the land. From this rainbow, five mysterious eggs flew from it to locations around the region and drew vast areas, through vast areas of time. Other eggs may have been released as well. As well as the seven chaotic crystals. Seven chaotic crystals. The ones that look like science balls. Anyway, we have Show from the Rainbow. Mystery, and, uh, that's another story or two. Yeah, Mysterious Beings of Light also shown from the Rainbow. Uh, that's another story or two. Anyway, one egg landed in the jungle. It was found by Mother Venusaur and a Father Scyther. Another egg landed by a beach. Found by a mother swampert. Another egg landed softly at a church stoop. It was found by a couple of nuns. Another egg landed in a dojo occupied by young and old warriors. And the last egg landed in the mountains by its lonesome. See now how these eggs hatch and grew. And director's commentary. That's a cute intro, huh? Uh, just so you know, here are the original Sonny and Rosie. They're Sancho and Rose Shoe babies, respectively. Oh, and also, I want to take this note to apologize for the fuzziness that, I, that you are receiving, but I am using the PlayStation I and the PlayStation program I create. It would be so cool if PlayStation would put out an update for I create to bear the quality that is received between the PlayStation I and the PlayStation 3. Also, the ability to import videos and images and even music from the cross-media bar. Think about it, Sony. Do it. Update the I create. Anyway, now we introduce Wild Science Shoe. In the forest uh, nearby, the, uh, egg the egg started to fall, and it was caught by a fine whip of the mother Venusaur. And then there, and then both, then the both of the parents were being curious. It's like Venu, sight, sight, sight. And then the egg hatches. There's a wild Sonny. Yeah. So then the Venusaur is teaching the. He teaches Wild about Vine Whip, and uh, he and she she gets a coconut for him, and then he watches a Vine Whip. He hits the coconut, but unfortunately, it lands in the ground and breaks into two halves. And then she, he and then he could go back to it. He goes up to his mommy and he shied, crying. But then later, the Scyther father mm, <laughs> cuts a tree cuts a tree into two. With his swift blades to teach the son, teach the wild about ninja skills. So then Sonny the meditates, he launches, and they hits razor leaf, but then the leaves bounce off. It's like, Sonny, 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 Saita! Saita, 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 Sonny! 
Mm, that would be like, you know, ah, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Relax. There's much to learn about your ninja skills. Yeah. So be patient. Okay. Eventually, about a month or so later, Wild Sonny evolved into Wild Sancho. Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm swinging all around on the vine whips. Woo! I'm a hedgehog, not a spider monkey. At this point, he's uh, pretty much uh, fending for himself. Hey, it's time for some cocoa soup, so I'll bring down some coconuts and I'll cut down the tree to make wood. Catch the coconut. Cut down the tree. Hmm. You think that's some? I can use my leafy tail as a, as a propeller, and I can run real quick. But not as fast as science, you. I also blend in with any tree to get any jump. To get my jump, I blend in. I rule this jungle. Now I introduce Bubbles Rose Chew. Her egg landed in the sea, in the ocean. It goes deeper down and down and down. And then a mysterious creature finds the egg and picks it up. And then emerges, oh, it's the mother swampert. So she hatches, so she puts the egg in her nest and the egg hatches to Bubbles Rosie. And then, for, and then during the during the child rearing, the little bubbles learns how to splish and splash and have fun. Makes their own little bubbles. And then later on, a whale a whale lord comes comes flying over the uh, swamper and has and he had, had a rock against attached to his bottom, and hit and hit and it hits the uh, mother swamper on the head. And then she starts to sink. And then Rosie starts gets concerned, so she goes after him, uh, after her. Splish. No, 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 Rosie! And at that moment, as uh, Bubbles pulls on the Mother Swamper's tail with arm, my she evolves to Bubbles Rose Shoe. Don't quit, Mama! I got you. And then she then she grabs a hold of her on the side, and then launches a nice beat to thrust him up out of the water. They run. Swamp, swamper, swamp, whopper. Uh, a translation that would be, uh, uh, wait, mm. well, who are you? She's, and then Bubble says, I feel it, Mama. I nearly lost you as you sank into the ocean, but I saved you. Whopper, and she thanks her. Anyway, anyway Bubble, my, my Mama Swamper was inside after I rescued her. But now I freely swim the ocean that is my backyard. I found many new friends in the future. But I'll never forget how Mama said, Stay strong and true to your heart, and you will prevail. I'm so happy. I think I'll make a seashell necklace.